Well, as you can see, we are using the uh, Rainbow app here. We're actually going to do a quick little test flight here. Um, see, that's my planned course. Uh, it is on its way out. Looks like it is uh, programmed to take pictures in a certain area, like the large field here. Um, the wind yeah. speed is high. Yeah, wind speed is high. Uh, right at the moment, uh, why it is doing its thing, um, this is actually a waypoint mission I had set. And it looks like uh, it is moving on to its next waste point uh, here in a second. See, it's kind of still moving, but... Uh, just kind of odd that it hasn't gone to the next waypoint. And as you can see, you just simply go like that. And unfortunately, I realized I must have a bad account. I must have reset my account. Let's see if it... Uh, Decides to actually go through the motions here. Again, this is the Rainbow app, not the Lychee app. Uh, that's why I was kind of interested in it. I thought I had bought it prior, and that was the whole problem. I was using the wrong account. As you can see, it's fairly nice here. Um, now that I've made it to there, maybe I can see if... Uh, this will actually do what it's supposed to do. I can say be very careful. Oh, and there we go with the... Hopefully I can uh, splice in some of the video feed. For some reason, every now and then it does do that while you're using it. And yes, you do hear Maddie's Drone World in the background. Figured... At negative 7 degrees with the windshield factor right around negative 25. Um, here maybe I can pull it up while we're waiting for it to do this uh, waypoint mission. Pop it up here. Sorry. I'm hard to do when you're sideways. We actually do have a few apps here I can quick bring up. Uh, first of all the. Not good to fly, but let's see. I do have just a regular weather bug here somewhere for our area. Have to excuse me, I got too many apps on here. There we go, weather bug. You can kind of see, unfortunately, it's going to be to the side. Uh, it's negative 6, actually, now. Uh, feels like negative 20. Uh, very cold. As you can see, we're kind of pinpointed there. Let's go back to the flight app and check out how the drone's doing. My visual aid is giving me the thumbs up that everything's still going good. The only thing we will have to probably watch um, with the temperature is uh, obviously the uh, battery life on it. It is pretty cool. It automatically adjusted for the um, height. I put in a couple of different height changes, uh, 308 to 330. So the waypoint missions are working. Um, Next thing I'm going to test uh, here in a second, um, I guess I should have kind of kicked her up. Oop. Wow, that just went all kinds of crazy. All I did was kind of switch the thing, but... Got this weird shaking, but I got a feeling it's because it's in with the wind. I 
think being up so high we're going to just do a return to home fortunately something happened when I put it into uh, the sport mode I still have not been able to get it to uh, do the non FPV mode of this she gonna bring her in kind of quick uh, I don't like how the gimbal is I understand there's some wind here but uh, not that bad well we know this is working so we're gonna fly her back check her out throw a fresh battery in it then we're gonna try something like the active track that's on it well as you can see we're trying the active track out um, see we had it locked on one of the dogs but I think it just locked on to that particular area not the dog um, yeah looks like uh, it goes red and we're also having troubles going left and right for some reason uh, hmm looks like when it has problems it just kind of gives up it does lock up the session a little bit but see if we can uh, get it to lock on I actually have somewhere if I can find the passwords an actual um, account for this but we're just gonna keep on re-downloading it right at the moment as you can see it is actively tracking the dog now uh, which is kind of cool uh, it is uh, definitely doing what it's supposed to like I said this is the rainbow app not the lychee app uh, it's kind of herky-jerky, um, obviously, um, has some bugs, stuff like that, but, uh, it is actively tracking, which I guess is the main, um, thing. We do have high winds, that's why it's like negative 25 degrees out right now, and that's why my dog is sitting outside, because their kennel is too warm, so... I have to go in there and adjust the temperature back down to about 40 so the dogs will actually go and sleep in their kennel instead of outside at night. I wish I had something a little bit more uh, to go with, but uh, they get a little shy around the drone. So we will terminate this section. We do have one other option here I wanted to pop up for some reason. What do I have to do? I'm recording video for this, so I got to shut that off, go back in, and as you can see, they have orbit, hyperlapse, FPV, you name it. And uh, actually, is that how I turn it off? Hopefully. There we go. I think we have just solved why we're in FPV mode. Uh, we're going to actually try an orbit. Uh, it should be pretty easy with this. Uh, let's just bump it up. Let's see if we can actually find something decent to orbit except for all this other crap here. Still good? Thumbs up from the visual advisor. Gimbal settings and that, I still have to go all through. Um, I'm not going to go as high up as I was. I was around 300. I think I'm going to stay a little bit below. Uh, as you can see, it is a little bit windy out. Um, so maybe we will just kind of have fun and come over to the big lake here i didn't want to kick it into sport mode last time i did that when we were doing the waypoint the camera got very shaky not sure if it just got into the wind or what 
where it wasn't quite working well. speed is definitely down so just got to keep an eye on the battery at this temperature and I do like all the uh, features they do have on here um, they do give you white balance everything else we'll try sport mode on the way back but uh, this is a little frozen lake I always like to go check on good ice fishing lake A little bit of signal interference. But, uh, you can see we still got full signal. It's just kind of a little slow at the moment. I'm guessing we're going against the wind. So coming back, we should have no problem. I wanted to do a large loop around this. So it shouldn't take that long once we get there said fighting wind quite a bit I think what we're gonna do is stop right there and we're gonna see if we can get this orbit mode to work Guessing, let's see, I have to set a hot point, which, as you can see, is just a nice little circle. Now, let's see if it will do it. That's on. All right. Well, I guess as you can see, that would basically be it. But uh, everything seemed to be working quite well, um, except for some little shakes and jitters. Um, playing with it a little bit more might help out. Uh, this is just an alternative to the Leechy app. I think you're going to be paying for it just about the same. But if you're like me and bought it for the Mini 1, then you might actually um, be able to save a little bit because they do now support. And yes, I am in the PVP or FPV mode. There we go. I can talk today. Luckily, uh, I do not have to actually be in this cold weather. Give a shout out to my visual advisor. That has to sit out there in the cold, cold weather. As you can see, it definitely is coming back a lot faster than it was going out. Everything seems to be working quite well. Just playing around with the FPV mode on it. But uh, I got a feeling uh, I won't exactly be using this for much um, until I can get the full version to work again. So for now, um, if you're interested, uh, this is what it looks like for the uh, Rainbow app instead of the Leechy app. Um, I do plan on uh, trying out the Leechy app next. Um it was just really nice to see it actually had the Mini 2 sitting in there. So we're going to come in for a landing here. And uh, I'll thank you for watching this.